It's almost one and a half years we are pushing ourselves hard to get rid out of DLL errors and what we did most common computer repair shops even dream to do that. So guys come along with the ride. It's going to be interesting. So let's start by understanding what is DLL. Dynamic link library is a type of library which containing all the type of harboring functions and codes for a Windows operating system. DLL files are known for their specific applications at a time. Other type of DLL files are classified or created by the use of a single program or a few. The specific DLL are usually one or upon loaded with the current correlating operating system or the program that you are going to install, which could replace the current DLL file and create problems. Even though DLL files sounds relatively simple in use, actually they are the source of many different kinds of problems in a single Windows operating system. Now let's jump with the part 2 of this video, how to get rid out of. Step 1. Install a clean Windows installation and install all the drivers very carefully. If the same error occurs, install an antivirus program to get rid out of. It looks basic, but it might end up many problems of DLL related. And if you are dealing with a specific type of games which needs DLL file, then disable your antivirus program or uninstall it if you want to run the game properly. Next up, never install a software that installs DLL files and that currently replaces even though are genuine. You can lead in a big trouble of Windows registry and unexpected failure of Windows operating system while running the application. If none of the method works for you that I told before, you are in a little bit critical situation. Try updating the BIOS and the framework. If this method works for you, that's fine. Other than that, this problem can only be hardware related. Step 1. You might need somebody's help. Replace all the component of your motherboard, motherboard, CPU and RAM with the additional one if you actually own, other than go to a shop. Test for the DLL error after each hardware replacement. Determine which component is faulty and you might end up at your entire day on this work. At the end of the day, in our case, our motherboard was faulty, which was from Gigabit. I know what was the problem. It was from BIOS update that the sailor wrongly updated it. From the beginning, when we tried to contact Gigabit, they never picked the call in India. I clarify you, that was a bang more big trouble that is stole on the camera. We just tried to contact them one after another day we mailed them immediately they never contacted us back i'm not truly like to make videos like this one at the end but was was truly horrendous from their side and at the end of the day one person con picked up the call and he told me that there is a problem in your entire system i admit that there could be a problem but to be real none of the company will realize that their hardware issue, even it's Intel or NVIDIA or even it's a Gigabit, ASUS at the same point. So what we should do? In conclusion, it's tough to say because no company will give you replacement for the things like DLL issues. You have to work with your own. So thanks for watching guys, this episode of Scientific Wall, get subscribed, even consider something like contacting us directly, down description is our mail id, choosing our Amazon affiliate code in the down description. If you have done that all stuff, go check this video, it will be really a great fun to watch. It's something like aluminium foil, really dangerous to human health. See you next time.